Hello, my name is Lisa and I'm here at the Brattleboro Food Cooperative and today we are going to be making sprouted brown rice. Um, sprouted brown rice is a really delicious ingredient. It tastes very sweet and it's very easy to cook com compared to regular brown rice. It can be easily frozen so I like to make it in really big batches and it also is very easy to work with so it's great for making sourdough bread of all things which we will do in some subsequent videos here. Um, so anyway, to start, I have four cups of rice in this bowl. It's good to start this project either in the morning or in the evening because you're kind of going to do a thing every morning and every evening. And it will be quick and easy, I promise, but you'll do a little thing every morning and evening. So put four cups of rice in a bowl and cover it with water. And then that's it. You're done for the morning. Not too hard, right? So let it sit until the evening or the next morning, as the case may be. And then it's time to drain it. So the tool that I found the most useful for draining rice is this little strainer. Um, it's made by Harold Import Company, stainless steel mesh strainer. And we can order those at the co-op. We might carry them sometime soon. I'm just gonna pour this through. rice is Lundberg Farms Eco Rice. Um, Lundberg Farms is a family owned business and it's also very sustainable. Um, and one really wonderful thing that Lundberg Farms does is they measure arsenic levels in their rice. Arsenic and rice unfortunately have an affinity so that can be a toxin problem for us for especially those of us that eat a lot of rice if we're gluten free. Um, so Lundberg Farms is the only farm that I know of that holds their rice to European baby food safety standards in terms of the arsenic levels they accept in the rice that they sell. So we sell um, tons of Lundberg rice here in our co-op. Um, some of it's labeled Lundberg organic and some of it just simply says eco-farmed, but it's all Lundberg. Um, so anyway, you saw I just drained the rice. I'm going to put it in the bowl now with no water and let it sit for 12 hours. Um, so, and then after that, I'm going to rinse it again. So I'll just pour water over it. If you think about what, what seeds need to grow, they need air, they need water, but not too much of it. And even sunlight can be really useful. I found that sprouting rice seems to work well when I do it not in the darkest room of the house. It doesn't have to be like on a windowsill or anything, but just choose a room that's not too, too dark. So I let it sit another 12 hours and then it's typically ready. So if you think of the normal shape of a piece of rice, it's, you can just picture it. It's just like a, I don't know, little sausage or something. Um, after the rice has sprouted, instead of a sausage, it looks like a penguin. It has a little beak. Um, so I'm going to show you some rice that has already been sprouted. I hope that you can see, this is quite sprouted. This went for a while. And um, once it gets to this point, you can refrigerate it for a day if you don't have time to use it immediately. So that is how to sprout brown rice. 